Colorado has a huge cycling community. Sharing the sport with people who are visually impaired is a goal for one group. Today, Michael Abeda got to see how they make cycling possible for those who can't see by riding tandem. Still a little short. Little short. Yeah. Susan Gangler needs a lot of help getting her bike ready before a ride. You can't move the seat back, can you? But that's okay because in her cycling group, nobody minds giving a helping hand. Everybody helps each other. The captains do most of the work, but as pilots, we try to, you know, help however we can. Every two weeks, they get together and ride tandem bikes. We've done triple bypass, and sometimes we do easy Sunday cruises along South Platte and go have a beer afterwards. And here you go. Three, two, one, go. Sunday was one of those easy days. Five bikes took a cruise from downtown Littleton, around Chatfield, and back. Susan cherishes everything about it. It's freedom to ride a bike, to be out in nature, to get good exercise, to have great conversation with your captain, just feel the breeze like we just felt here, the birds, the just everything. Everything, that is, except the views, because Susan is blind. She's part of the iCycle Cycling Club in Denver. Sighted riders or captains lead blind or vision impaired riders called pilots on rides all over the state, so the visually impaired can experience our state and help keep themselves healthy. When you're on the tandem bike, you're working out both your mind and your body. Yeah, it's good. Susan has been riding for eight years and doesn't plan on quitting anytime soon. She just hopes that more sighted volunteers will sign up so that more visually impaired people will get to enjoy the thrill of cycling in Colorado and make new friends. Just a great way to meet, meet just a wide variety of great people. Now, if you want to help out, head to cbsdenver.com. We'll post a link to their website on ours. In Denver, Michael Aveta, covering Colorado first.